All right, as we told you, Fort Myers, everybody knows Fort Myers, took a direct hit as Hurricane Ian came ashore. Here is what that looks like in terms of storm surge. It is startling how quickly entire communities can be submerged. Manuel Bohorkas rode out the night in Fort Myers. And he's there for us now. Manny, good morning. How are you? Nora, good morning. Even without being able to drive around this area because there are down trees everywhere and likely standing water, uh, we can see that there's devastation here. This is the hotel where we rode out the storm, and this debris here was left by the storm surge. There's pieces of wood uh, over there. There's some lounge chairs, a picnic table, a, a bridge over here. This was um, stuff that was over that way, the Gulf of Mexico, 200 yards away. But all of this was underwater just about 24 hours ago. I can tell you uh, from just trying to peer out at the height of the storm that the winds and the storm surge were the highest that I've ever experienced covering any of the hurricanes. And, and the problem here is it just lingered for so long. It was hours upon hours upon hours of just the worst parts of the hurricane. The priority today, of course, will not only be assessing the damage, but trying to rescue anybody who was caught in an area that is now inaccessible or flooded. Nora. Oh, Manny, I'm glad to see you are okay and thinking about all those residents, including many retirees that live in that Fort Myers area. Thank you so much.